The unemployment rate is falling in the UK, now about as many people are back in employment as before the pandemic. At first glance, the econ economic data is correct, but another number worries experts and could slow the recovery. 68,000 programmers, 29,000 cooks and 6,000 joiners and carpenters. The list of skilled workers missing in Great Britain is long. In total, more than a million jobs are vacant, as the ONS Statistics Office announced on Tuesday. That is more than ever since records began in 2001. While Treasury Secretary Rishi Sunak is cheering the upswing on the labour market, which is back to the pre-pandemic levels, the UK economy is facing an unexpected problem, unexpected from them, as it recovers from the corona crisis. Siren Tiru from the British Chamber of Commerce identified an acute recruitment crisis. Numerous industries are desperately looking for new people. At the top of the list, of course, are truck drivers. We, we talked about this so many times. There is a shortage of at least 100,000 workers there. This also has far-reaching consequences for consumers. For weeks, some goods have been hard to come by. There are gaps on the shelves in supermarkets. There are no mattresses at IKEA and the milk giant Arla had to reduce deliveries. But tens of thousands of vacancies are also in the care sector and that in the middle of the pandemic with around 30,000 new infections in Great Britain every day. Millions of people are also waiting for surgery. These recruitment difficulties will probably dampen the economic recovery by limiting the ability of companies to fulfill orders and meet customer demand, said expert Tiru. The latest data already reflect this. In August, the IHS Market Purchasing Managers Index fell to a six-month low, while the gross domestic product of GDP rose by just 0.1% in July compared to the previous month. The corona pandemic has shaken up the economy worldwide, and the United Kingdom is by no means the only country with vacancies in logistics. In Germany, for example, tens of thousands of truck drivers are missing. But experts point out that the problem is extremely exacerbated in Great Britain because of Brexit. Because hundreds of thousands migrated during the pandemic, but now only a few of them are returning, not to forget all those that left after 2015. This is the first to notice industries such as gastronomy, where EU citizens have long made up the majority of the service staff. The number of vacancies there increased by 57,000 in August alone, as reported by the BBC. In addition, the Conservative government has taken an extremely tough line on immigration since Brexit. Prime Minister Boris Johnson is fulfilling a promise there. Interior Minister Priti Patel announced two years ago that freedom of movement would end once and for all. Anyone who wants to come to Great Britain from the EU to work now needs a visa, which costs a lot of money and effort. Hardly anything is possible on their own anyway. Potential employers have to act as sponsors. Johnson and Patel's goal is British jobs for British, but many people are not sufficiently trained for the work for which no EU citizens are available, or they just do not want to do the low-paid jobs. Hardly a week goes by without an industry association asking the government to put other professions on an exception list for work visas. One hope now rests on the end of uh, state-supported short-time work. The so-called furlough program, in which the government paid up to 80% of wages, expires at the end of September. Then a good million people either have to be taken back to their old jobs or look for a new job. But what looks like a simple solution on paper is, is by no means enough in reality. In view of the lasting problems of Corona and Brexit, the end of furlough is not a panacea, said expert uh, T. Roo. Economist Yael Selfin from the consulting firm KPMG said the pressure would ease, but the UK job market will remain troubled as vacancies will take time to fill due to the shortage of skilled workers and the limited availability of foreign workers. Congratulations. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.